30 years ago worldwide there were 500,000 servers. Today I'd say worldwide there are six to 10 million servers. It feels like in the last couple of years, um, it's really taken a quantum leap. This industry in apparel leads youth fashion today. Everyone wants to be a surfer, more so than ever. You ride a wave, you get on a skateboard, you get on a snowboard, you kind of uh, almost start belonging to you know, a group of, um, of people who, who exude style. People want to, be, want to belong to this tribe of surfers. You know, there's so much more awareness for, for what these sports are and there's just a, a bigger demand and, and I think it's just, a, you know, it's attracting more customers. There are 30 or 40 extremely healthy uh, surf companies that are all worldwide brands. There's a lot of amazing success stories that have taken place. Every one of them uh, does tens and tens and tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars worth of business uh, abroad. Uh, every one of them has a future that, um, that could conceivably take them into the five to ten billion dollar sales range annually. We're a small industry. This is an insular little cottage industry even today. What's interesting though is that the, the reach that, we've ha that we have to the youth market at large has been phenomenal. On the free surfing side, there's just some incredible free surfers doing some incredible maneuvers on, you know, on beautiful waves in remote locations, and everybody can relate to that. And that is the dream. And this industry sells that dream. No one could have, no one could have forecast what. Um, an amazing time we've had as surfers, both in the water and in business. I don't know, I guess we've got to just, you know, thank the, um, the ancient Hawaiians, you know, picked up a piece of wood and started kind of using the momentum of a wave to propel themselves shorewards.